The specialists that we have here are truly among the best in the world. And what they've captured on the BC coast is nothing short of spellbinding. A group of the world's top nature photographers came to Vancouver recently to share with the media and public the fruits of their foray into BC's spectacular Great Bear Rainforest. The International League of Conservation Photographers are a collective of premier photojournalists from around the world, many of them frequent contributors to National Geographic, who use their considerable skills to bring attention to critical ecosystems facing various environmental challenges. This time, their lenses were trained on the precious fish, wildlife and landscapes of the central and north coast of Canada. Now threatened by a new oil pipeline from the Alberta tar sands proposed by energy giant Enbridge, and the super tankers that would transit these sensitive and perilous waters en route to Asia. The team showed some of their stunning work from the excursion while reflecting on the importance of protecting this magical place at a morning press conference held at the Van City Theatre downtown and a gala at the Vancouver Museum later that evening. I've been involved in a few environmental issues in British Columbia over the last 20 years and I don't think anything even comes close to uh, the severity of this pipeline that is being proposed to Kitimat in the introduction of oil tankers to the BC coast. Photography is a universal language and what it can do for us is it can help us convene audiences around these issues. So our audience is not the general public, we're not trying to just raise awareness, we're trying to bring this issue to the people that actually make the decisions. So there's going to be a series of travel exhibits and presentations both in the United States and Canada to try to get decision makers and the people who invest in these projects to uh, pay attention to what's at stake here. I'm this far from this bear with Marvin, I'm just taking pictures and finally I decide, you know, enough is enough, I don't need to shoot anymore. I put the camera down and just sat there staring at this incredible animal and Marvin looked at me and he said, this bear has just given us a gift. And uh, he said, don't you feel responsible now to give this animal a voice in this cause? It's a heck of a responsibility you know, to take a place that is so precious and so spectacular and put it into images. Um, but I've seen in campaigns in British Columbia before where an image truly changes uh, the outcome of an issue. And I believe here we've got a largest, the largest body of work in terms of images that any environmental campaign has ever been able to use. So I believe these images will truly change the course of this issue. Later that evening at the Vancouver Museum, the public had an opportunity to see some highlights of the ILCP's work, meet the photographers, and hear from leaders of the campaign to protect BC from Enbridge's proposed pipeline and tankers. As a National Geographic photographer, I'm traveling around the world about 300 days a year, and I've had a lot of incredible encounters with wildlife. I've swam with leopard seals, I've swam in the ocean with polar bears, with walrus, I've stood in colonies of emperor penguins or king penguins of 200,000 penguins in one colony. So it means a lot for me to say that I had the greatest experience of my photographic career just three days ago uh, while on this ray. Sorry, I'm going to get a little emotional talking about it. It's a guarantee. You know, this whole time, you know, all of these images I'm seeing, you know, we spend all of our time and we only see what's above the surface and you know, I'd like to thank you guys for bringing us to everybody in the world. If we can s stop the tankers, it's going to be something, you know. This place here, um, I grew up there, you know, and I've got uh, three kids of my own. And uh, I hope that uh, one of them will be a spirit bear guy too. So, you know, what we have here at risk is uh, everything for us, our culture, everything. And uh, there's no gain that will come to Hartley Bay with these tankers. It's all about risk. This canoe of ours is a magic one. And you're all welcome aboard. It just keeps getting bigger. If we need room for 500 more, we'll make it. We'll make it happen. Because this issue of the pipeline coming to our area isn't a local issue. Isn't, isn't, it's, it's not simply about the Chaisler or the Gitgat or any of the other people living in that area that are, that are at risk. Our way of life as human beings is at risk. And I have to tell you, I've never been this full of hope. We need to 
um, engage a lot more people and make them realize what this coast is about and why we're standing up for it and why we're saying no to Enbridge. We don't want Alberta tar sands crude oil on our coast. The ILCP have clearly brought a colorful new dimension to what is shaping up to be an epic battle over the future of BC's wild coast. As these powerful images make their way around the globe in the coming years, it will be interesting to see how the attention of the world affects Enbridge's plans here in BC. This is Damian Gillis for the Common Sense Canadian.